1.280 so i've just framed the question in my own language so it's little bit easier to understand what the problem is what's given in the problem and also the diagram also i guess uh, uh, <laughs> so you can see what's going to happen in the problem in the diagram so we have a sphere that is that has a moment of inertia i not so this is the sphere and its moment of inertia is i not it rotates with omega not about bb dash inside a square frame so this is the square frame and the axis is bb dash about which it rotates with omega not frame can be rotated by a motor so the frame itself can be rotated by this motor now remember the axis of the motor is like this but the axis of the sphere is perpendicular to the axis of the motor now this arrow it represents the direction of motion of this sphere so right now it is so because it's a 3d figure that's why i have drawn the arrow and this colors i have used so that you can you know that the green part is the top half of the sphere and yellow part is the bottom half of the sphere so initially it's rotating like this and this arrow means this part of the sphere is going to go towards right now motor itself is mounted on a stationary platform that can freely rotate about oo dash so this motor itself is mounted on this platform that can rotate freely about oo dash all right so i guess the diagram is pretty clear what's happening so this omega not by the way so since i said that it's traveling like this the direction of omega not will be upwards now we need to find the work performed by the motor in turning the shaft bb dash through 90 degree and through 180 degree so the motor will start to rotate this frame like this and when it turns 90 degree what is the work done by the motor so you can imagine that the, when the shaft turns uh, 90 degree the sphere is going to look like this and this will be the <clears throat> the direction of uh, spinning of this uh, sphere will be just like this if you turn it like this <laughs> So omega not when it's turned by 90 degree will be inside the plane. And when it's turned completely by 180 degree, so this yellow part of the sphere will come up and green part will go down and the direction of omega not will reverse. So if it was traveling like this, so you can imagine if you turn it by 180 degree, it's going to, it's, it will look like uh, spinning in the opposite direction. So this B part that was at the bottom that will come to the top when it is spinned by 180 degree and the direction of omega naught will be downwards. Now, first of all, when you, so initially you can see that the, the whole system sphere and the motor and platform, it has an angular momentum in vertically up direction because of the spinning of this sphere. But when you turn this sphere and motor is exerting the torque to turn that so so the reaction torque will be on the motor that's going to rotate the platform because this torque is internal between the motor and the sphere not torque i mean the force with which the motor turns the sphere that force is internal so the angular momentum of the system is going to remain conserved because about OO dash there is no external force so the motor will turn this and turn by 90 degree and then turn it by 180 degree so let's say the platform starts to rotate by omega 1 here and it starts to rotate by omega 2 here so let's find the values of omega 1 and omega 2 and then we can see what will be the work done performed by the motor that we can get from change in kinetic energy. So let's find omega one and omega two. So initially when it, when it is turned by 90 degree, so you can see that the whole angular momentum of the sphere in vertically up direction is lost because now the angular momentum of the sphere is in inside the plane. So the conservation of angular momentum means the platform will turn to maintain its original angular momentum, which was I naught omega naught. That's what we'll do. Li is equal to Lf. So initial angular momentum was I naught omega naught. 
एंड फाइनल एंगुलर मोमेंटम इफ द टेबल इज टर्निंग बाय ओमेगा वन सो सी स्फीयर इज रोटेटिंग अबाउट बी बी डैश विद ओमेगा नॉट बट अलॉन्ग विद द टेबल द स्फीयर इज ऑल्सो रोटेटिंग विद ओमेगा वन अबाउट दिस एक्सिस अगेन दिस ओमेगा नॉट इज वन वन ऑफ द एंगुलर वेलोसिटीज ऑफ स्फीयर अबाउट बी बी डैश but about oo dash also the sphere is going to rotate along with the platform so when we are going to write the angular momentum for the system in y direction we have to add that i also so final angular momentum is i of the platform plus i not of the sphere into omega 1 so this gives the value of omega 1 so work done is change in kinetic energy now again kinetic energy of the sphere itself because of the spinning in its uh, on its axis did not change so let's uh, just not count that one because initial kinetic energy in because of the spinning of the sphere is same so if you remove that kinetic energy initial kinetic energy is zero of the rest of the system but final kinetic energy here is due to the spinning of the whole system and what is spinning the platform as well as sphere the so final kinetic energy is half i plus i not into omega 1 square so if you put the value of omega 1 here we will get our answer so now by the same logic when it's turned completely upside down now but interestingly the angular momentum of bb dash has gone down but along with the platform we are not going to consider that this sphere is rotating anymore because this sphere is always rotating with omega not in this case alone when it was turned at 90 degree the sphere was rotating along with the platform with omega 1 but now that it is upside down it is only traveling it's only spinning with omega not this sphere has nothing to nothing to do with omega 2 anymore so now when we write the kinetic energy of the system we will not include that of the sphere in the rotation of the platform so but that comes in kinetic energy first let's uh, just uh, balance the angular momentum so initial is i not omega not final is minus i not omega not due to the opposite spinning of sphere and plus i of uh, platform into omega 2 so i omega 2 minus i i not omega not is equal to i not omega not and as discussed when we are writing change in kinetic energy so kinetic energy of the sphere anyway we never count and this time when the platform is rotating we will not count the kinetic energy of the sphere what we did here we are not going to do here so kinetic energy of the plat of the system is simply half i omega 2 square where i is of the platform alone so we'll put the value of omega 2 from here to here and this will be our answer now let's do the b part so make sure you understand what we have discussed and then let's move to b part the moment of external forces which maintain the axis in the vertical position after the motor turns the shaft through 90 degree so you can imagine that initially the angular momentum in z direction or inside the plane this direction is zero but now there is an angular momentum in this direction so to counter that the axis must be providing a counter torque such that this platform does not start to rotate to counter this direction of angular momentum so for example if this were a free space if this was not joined uh, by an axis if this was just in a space and if you turn this uh, sphere in this direction so to counter this angular momentum which was not there the whole platform will start to rotate in this direction so you just need to imagine that and that's not happening here so that means the counter torque is being provided by the axis and that's what we need to find what is the torque of external forces which maintain the axis in the vertical position after the motor turns the shaft through 90 degree so let's see that so as discussed the initially there was no angular momentum in this direction and now because we have turned the sphere we have an angular momentum l not and once we have this l not 
the whole table is also spinning so if you see from the top this l naught is changing direction continuously which means there is a change in angular momentum which means a torque must be providing this change in angular momentum so this torque which is providing this change in angular momentum is completely different than what i just told you that as you turn it like this the whole table will try to rotate in the opposite sense so we are not talking about that now because that will only happen momentarily but once the gyro is stabilized not gyro okay this sphere is stabilized like this then because the table is turning with omega 1 it will provide the table the axis will provide further torque to the system to contribute to this change in angular momentum dl so we know external torque on the system is dl by dt now only change in l of the system is due to the sphere turning along, along the platform because otherwise the angular momentum in y direction is constant and it was always a constant it was always i not omega not so in y direction angular momentum is never changing but if you see from the top this this is the change in angular momentum in this direction and the direction of that angular momentum is also changing its magnitude is not changing but its direction is changing so only change in l of the system is due to a sphere turning along the platform its magnitude is constant but direction changes continuously so what is that change dl so we know that the platform is spinning with omega 1 so if you see from the top the sphere is going to turn also with omega 1 and uh, so angle turn will be omega 1 dt so if this this is dl because initial uh, initial momentum was l not here and after it has turned by omega 1 dt the direction is here magnitude is same so change is dl that is l not into omega 1 dt so dl is l not into omega 1 dt that gives dl by dt is equal to l not omega 1 so that is the external torque on the system dl by dt the value of l not is i not omega not because of the spinning of the sphere and omega 1 we just calculated in the previous part that is i not omega not plus upon yeah so omega 1 is uh, i not omega not upon i plus omega not sorry upon i plus i not so we put that value here and this is the torque which we will get which is the external torque that is continuously being supplied by the axis so initially i guess i confused you a bit when i said that uh, the whole table will start to spin in this direction that's also true like i said but that's not what he was asking he was asking what is the moment of external forces which will maintain the axis in vertical position so as the time progresses it has to maintain the axis what i said will would have just happened initially so there's a note omega naught never changes in magnitude as with respect to bb dash torque cannot be exerted on the sphere so you might be thinking that if, if you turn it why omega naught does not change its value it's because it doesn't matter in which direction you move the frame when the axis through this sphere is passing through its center no matter what you do to the axis you cannot exert any torque on this sphere at all whatever you do so that's why its omega naught will never change so that's what i have written omega naught never changes in magnitude as with respect to bb dash torque cannot be exerted on the sphere because bb dash itself is passing through the center any force you apply on the bb dash it's not going to contribute on the torque about bb dash all right